Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode 122, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm wearing the exact same clothes that you saw yesterday, Wednesday, because it's actually Wednesday here, and I'm just recording it so I don't have to record it tomorrow. <laughs> but anyways, this is a No Catch Your Name episode. I've got three finished objects to share with you guys, three whips, and a couple pieces of Happy Mail. There they are. And that's pretty much it. So it's going to be maybe a quick episode if I don't talk a whole lot. <laughs> But we'll see. So I'm going to start with my pocket shawl. Um, I think it was a whip last week. Or it was pretty much a finished object. I had the shawl done. But I still had to do the pockets. And um, I'm going to insert a little clip here of me modeling it. I'm not a good model. But um, so this is what it looks like when I'm wearing it. This is what it looks like when I'm holding it. <laughs> it's folded in half. So this is the pocket shawl. It's a free pattern by Pamela Barton, which is uh, Pamela's Adoring Crochet, which will be linked below. She has a free video tutorial on it, and she has it to where you can purchase it from her website. I purchased a PDF just because I'm a, I'm a reader type person and not a video watcher. <laughs> I mean, I watch videos if I need help with like something that's complicated, but... Um, I prefer to read a pattern but here are my pockets where are they here's one of them interesting story with this pocket <laughs> first of all the yarn that I used is lime brand jeans uh, it is a worsted weight yarn this color is called faded but it's a thin worsted weight so for the shawl I just held one strand but for the pockets I doubled it up so that they'd be a little bit sturdier and less holy so if I did stick my hands in there my fingers wouldn't be poking out <laughs> but um, I put them on originally where she says because it's like four inches from the sides and two from the bottom and my hands couldn't even reach into them they were way down my leg <laughs> so I had to rip them off which was annoying and move them up a little bit and so on but now they, they fit right where I like them because I like my pockets kind of where you would put um, like if you're wearing a hoodie or something I don't want my arms straight down my legs I want them just kind of bent you know it's more comfortable for me but anyways, I got it to fit right. It just took it a little while. I got so aggravated with it that I almost decided not to do the pockets. But I wanted the pockets. It's a pocket shawl. So, uh, I like it a lot. It came out beautiful. I love the, um, the laciness of the, the actual shawl. It's just pretty. I love lacy things. It's pretty. And this color is really pretty too. I really like this yarn. But it was a really quick and easy pattern. The only thing I had an issue with was where to put the pockets. But I think that varies for anybody. Because if you're a different height than Pamela, then it's going to be different. Um, I'm 5'7", so I'm kind of tall for a girl. But I'm actually one of the shortest ones in my family, other than my mom. My mom is really short. She's like 5'4", or 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, 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 but the rest of my siblings are... My sister is 5'11", and then my two brothers and my dad were over 6 feet. <laughs> so, uh, there's my shop. Anyways, I love that pattern. <laughs> Definitely check it out. Uh, I already said what the yarn was, yes. And then also, I had five balls of that jeans yarn that I got on clearance at Joann's earlier this year. So, um, this shawl took, I think, three and a half. I have to look at my Ravelry page. I think it took three and a half. So, I had some yarn extra. Maybe it was four and a half. I think it was four and a half. I had, like, a half of a skein. Oh, uh, well, like, three-fourths of a skein left. So, I then went and made da, a divine hat <laughs> to match it. My hair is in a ponytail, or I'd put it on. But, uh, you saw this last week in the Watch You Working On Wednesday last week. The divine hat is such a pretty pattern. And quick. Like, super quick. <laughs> so, I, uh, used the majority of what was left from that in the divine hat. Which I really like, and it fits my head good. And then I still had some yarn left. So, um, oh, that's the divine hat by Sarah Arnold, and it's a free pattern. And uh, then with the rest of the yarn, <laughs> I made a cowl. <laughs> this is a really simple cowl. It is called the Stella Cowl by Christine Mullen. And uh, yeah, so this was almost the rest of it. I have a little tiny ball <laughs> that's gonna be going into my secret blanket eventually. But uh, I like cowls that are closer to my neck instead of the big, four, you know, the ones I hang down. Cause I, I like them to actually be functional. So this one is closer to my neck. So if I had a jacket on, it would help scrunch it up and keep my neck warm. And I like my cows long enough that if I'm walking like from my car to a store, I can do this. Because we rarely get snow here, but we do get sleet like crazy. To where it's like in between cold enough to snow and not. So it's just raining ice. 
<laughs> and so you know when it hits you it's really cold and so I like to pull I have my hat on and then I pull my <laughs> cowl up like that and walk into a store so that I get less sleet on my face and uh, yeah so I'll probably wear this and this hat combo a lot this year because I love cows and hats that match I have another set that I made out of um, Painted Canyon by uh, Hobby Lobby I love this yarn and I wore it a ton last year so I'm sure I will wear this a lot this December into March which is our, our winter our winter really starts in January to March but um, it sometimes gets cold enough in December to need stuff like that <laughs> but yeah so that's my five balls of Lime Brand jeans colorway faded so I made a pocket shawl a hat and a, scar or a uh, cow <laughs> I forget what it's called I thought that was pretty good for five balls of clearance yarn. They were like two forty-seven each, so that's not that bad. So that would be what, um, 10, 11, 12, like $13 for a hat, a cow, and a shawl. That's pretty cool. But anyways, that's my finished objects. <laughs> All my finished objects are uh, Lime Brand's Jean Yarns. Now, I do have three whips. Let me see which one's first. Okay, the first one is my scrappy blanket. I can't remember if I added anything to it since... Um, oh, I showed it. It looks like I might have added a row. <laughs> Let's see here. This stitch marker is where I last showed it to you. It's in this red. So I added some blue, some yellow, some spring green, and this color right here. <laughs> it's purpley red color. So I haven't added much at all, but I haven't been working on it at all. It's just been living. It's, it's getting pretty big though. Woo. It's really wide. It's about as wide as my wingspan. And uh, it's getting taller. Let me move my stitch marker. Um, I've just been working on my other projects, so I haven't really pulled this out of the box. Plus, I'm kind of low on little scrap balls. I need to make some more things to get scrap balls. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's coming along slowly but surely. I think I'm using a J hook with that. Yeah, a J hook. And it's just worsted weight acrylic yarn scrap balls. Uh, my next whip is the Ocean of Love Wrap by Button Nose Crochet. And this I'm using um, Red Heart with Love and the color is Boysenberry. I got the first whole ball in the shawl now, or the wrap. So this is my second ball that I will be starting whenever I sit down to work on it some more. I'm using an H hook. But here is my wrap so far. It's getting big. It's basically a, like a star blanket, just it's half of one. It's got five points and it will, it drapes around you kind of like in a half circle, a little bit bigger than a half circle, like a Pac-Man shape. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I guess this would be a good size for some people, but I want it to be more down my back because I like to have stuff that I can like wrap up in and be cozy. But I absolutely love this color. This is like the prettiest color ever. It's kind of blowing out on the camera. There you go. It's darker. <laughs> it's like a dark uh, maroon color, I guess. I guess it's boysenberry color. <laughs> but uh, I love this color. It's beautiful. And I love the laciness again. It's made with uh, triple crochet, so there's lots of little holes. <laughs> but I just think it's beautiful. I love it. I, uh, I was working on this hardcore until I had the fiasco with the other wrap that I was making. I'm going to hook with this. I don't lose it. And that's this. <laughs> this is my third whip. This is a ripped out project from last week. I can't remember if I showed it last week. But last week I was making... What is it called? Comfy at Home or something like that wrap. And I ended up having to frog it and then I started it again and then I frogged it. And then when I was frogging it the second time I realized that there was a mistake even further back like in the beginning. So I ended up just frogging the whole thing because <laughs> I was just annoyed with it. So instead, uh, I really wanted to use it this yarn. This yarn is um, Premier Anti-Peeling Everyday Bobbin. <laughs> the colorway is lime green. It was gifted to me um, like a month or so ago from Brittany at Woolmakes. She gave me this one and a blue one. I can't remember what the blue one's called, but this one's called lime green. So uh, after that fiasco of frogging and doing and frogging and doing <laughs> that, I, uh, I decided to just make a new project. So I started the Just Fill Festive Shawl by Kalisha Ryan. And uh, a lot of people are doing this right now because Z is doing it for her birthday. Uh, Zelda NRJ 
three, I think. Um, so yeah, I started that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have enough yarn with this to finish the whole length of it. But I have the blue one that if I run out of the green, I'll just add some blue on it. Because I like blue and green together anyways. But I'm using a J-hook. And this is worsted weight yarn. So her pattern calls for two strands of finger weight held together. And a really small hook. It's like a 3.5, I think. But yeah. So this is the increased side. And then the decrease side. So it's kind of diagonal. <laughs> but I haven't got very far. I just started it yesterday. I frogged that one thing yesterday while watching uh, Rain <laughs> on Netflix. And I just, I was like, well, what other simple pattern can I make? So this is basically the granny stitch. So I just like, let's just do that. <laughs> so I started it. And this is how much I got before I had to cook dinner yesterday. But uh, yeah, it's coming along easy. And it's a very easy pattern. And I'm liking it so far. Hopefully I don't mess it up and have to frog it because <laughs> I really want to use this yarn. I've had it for a little while sitting on my shelf and it's been like staring at me. So uh, hopefully I can get most of it done with, maybe I can get all of it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll try. I'm just going to go tell Brown on yarn and see how big it is and um, go from there. But that is that. That's all my whips. All the links will be linked below. Make sure I said everything I was supposed to say. I said the names. Yeah, I think I did everything. Actually, I didn't write that on my list. It should be on there. I knew what, who it was from. Anyways, I got two Halloween cards in the mail earlier this week or <clears throat> uh, I can't remember. Monday maybe? <laughs> I don't remember. But the first one is from Rebecca in Indiana. This is such a cute card. And it's like little Halloween moths. So cute. So thank you so much Rebecca for that. The second one I got is from a YouTuber and it is Ocean Light Crochet. I'll link her channel below if I can remember. She's from Texas. She sent me, first of all, let me, I'll hide her, her address, but mine's on my video. So she put a bunch of stickers on there. And I saw that Z got one from her too uh, on Z's video. But this is the card that she sent. And the inside's got some stickers on it too. And she also sent me two stitch markers. One's like a little angel and one's just a matching gym. <laughs> Those are super cute. And now that I talked about it, I can take them off and use them. <laughs> she did the same thing that I used to do with a lot of my Etsy orders in the beginning. I would stamp. Mine were heart shapes and little flower shapes. Uh, die cuts. And then I would hook stitch markers into it. <laughs> That's what I used to do. Because I used to make a ton of stitch markers. But I haven't made any in forever. So um, I don't do that anymore. But I just thought that was funny. Because I used to do that. So now they can go up there on my gifted stitch marker rack. <laughs> and then they will go into me using them what I do is when I'm working on a new project I come in here and I look at it and I figure out which you know I just look and see which one jumps out at me and then I take that one and use it <laughs> but um I do try to cycle because I like to use all of my gifted ones <laughs> and that's what that is that's all gifted ones I don't think any of those are ones I made the majority of the ones I made I sold and then gave away so uh yeah but that's fun <laughs> so I gotta hang these two up there but thank you so much for the cards I love them <laughs> And let me put them back up so I don't lose them. Those will probably go on our little mantle thingy until after Halloween. And then, then the fun starts. Then the Christmas cards start coming. <laughs> uh, last year, we did photo Christmas cards. And I sent photo ones to everybody. But um, I was thinking, maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> the photo ones should be for family. And I was wanting to do a photo one of just like me and some yarn or something for uh, the yarny people. But, uh, you know, whatever. We live and learn. <laughs> so I told Devin that I'm going to have to wear my Christmas dress because I have two Christmas dresses. And go to, like, Hobby Lobby or somewhere and have him take pictures of me in the yarn aisle. <laughs> with some Christmas color yarns, I guess. And uh, then I can design a Christmas card off for that. But, yeah, that's coming up. I mean, Halloween's in a couple weeks and then it's official Christmas season. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited about that. But, yeah, so I think that's everything for today. Um, I done whips foes happy home <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and get to sewing i got some more sewing to do seems like i'm always sewing but uh, i do enjoy it and i enjoy making bags for people but anyways i'm gonna hop off here and get stuff done i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys